Hey guys, I'm back with a new series. In this series, we'll start to learn about modern web development and how it works. We'll first start with HTML, then move to the concepts of CSS, and finally, we will see the programming language that powers the web, which is JavaScript. I do have a complete JavaScript series where I cover everything that you need to start working with JavaScript. We make 12 plus projects in that series. A couple of exercises are also given to test your knowledge at each step. So the link for this playlist can be found down below in the description section of this video. So enough of talking, let us start with the very basics of web development. But before that, let us cover a brief introduction about the World Wide Web. World Wide Web. So in short, www, right? So the World Wide Web was invented by Tim Berners-Lee back in 1989. The main motive for development of World Wide Web was to have a common and central place where scientists all over the world can share resources with each other with the click of a button. Let us understand this with the help of simple definitions. So World Wide Web is a collection of interconnected documents. So you can say this document, then another document, and so on and they may be connected to each other right so d1 document d2 document and so on by interconnection i mean that two or more documents can be connected to each other using something called as hyperlinks or links so say in this first document we have some link right here if someone clicks on this link he's taken to say document d2 right so on d2 you have a link if someone clicks on that link you are taken to some other document say d3 right now these documents that are linked with each other can be viewed by us using a tool called as browser right the complete architecture that it uses is the client server architecture which we'll discuss in a few minutes now let us see the first actual website that was ever developed so navigate to your browser and type info.info.cern.ch Now you can see that this page is a pretty simple page that we used to make when all these concepts were pretty naive. But now we can make modern websites that are fast, sleek and even elegant looking that offers a great user experience. So things have changed a lot from what it used to be in the past and we will learn tons of things in this series. So stay tuned. This simple document that you can see was developed just using HTML, right? Which we will discuss in one of the videos. Now, HTML is called as the hypertext markup language and is used to lay the structure of a web page. The web pages that we see nowadays look a lot more elegant than the one you can see here. And it was made possible by designing and styling these web pages using something called as CSS, which of course we will discuss in separate videos as well. So with just HTML and CSS, you can design a beautiful looking website, but there is still one thing missing, which is that the websites that you design using just HTML and CSS, they are not interactive. That is the lack of business logic. For example, consider the Facebook website. It has a beautiful looking user interface, but not just that. It has a lot more going under the hood that drives the business logic of the Facebook website, right? Next, consider an example. Say we have a post on Facebook, some images there, and here are some comments. And here we have an option for like and some reaction or emoji that we can use. So each comment can have a like option. And also on the post, we can have the like and the emoji reactions, right? So this we can have on a Facebook post. Now using this, we are able to interact with the website, right? Now this business logic element is what is lacking in a website that is made using just pure HTML and CSS. So HTML plus CSS plus JavaScript, which adds business logic to the website. So if to some website that uses HTML and CSS, we add event-driven reactivity, to make it interactive along with the business logic of the application using the programming language that powers the web javascript again if you are already aware of the basics of the language and want to learn more on javascript definitely check out my javascript series the link can be found in the description section of this video now before ending this video head over to your browser and navigate to evolutionoftheweb.com 
and click on explore now. Now here you can see this starts with the first version of HTML, so hypertext markup language. Then we had the mosaic browser and then here you can see Netscape HTML2. Then right after 1995 we had HTML3 and then other versions of HTML came. And similarly you can interpret the evolution of the web from this website. So this was all I wanted to cover about the history of the world wide web. If you like the video do give it a thumbs up or comment down below if you have any query. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell icon to get the notification for all my upcoming uploads and I will see you guys in the very next one.